vaping sucks. Smoking is back in fashion. Not that kind. Stick around for more if you want to see where I find them, how I find them, and what I'm doing these bad boys. chef I am Hugh and Amor is still doing nights so I sleep so I've been promoted to chief procurement officer that is to say all by myself I have to be anyway we are down in Wiseman's Bridge and we're looking for razor clams because they're yummy but in previous videos I kind of lamented the fact that I've got to coordinate times with shifts and time off of them all. Well, be thankful for what you have, because now I don't have to do that, but it also means I don't have them all. So, things have been better. Let's get looking. When you're looking for razor clams, you want a surf swept beach. We're not talking surfing, but enough waves to bring those nutrients in but not too many to dislodge the clams. Ideally, you want it to be quite flat. Collect some trash while you're at it. Oh, how the weather changes in Wales. <laughs> but that's Wales, you don't live there if you want the tropics. So raincoat on and persevere. The tricky thing here is to find razor clams you're looking for a little hole in the sand. That might be a little bit tricky when the sand looks like what? And now, when you're looking for razor clams, unlike a cockle, which you can find them from the top of the, the shoreline to the bottom, really, razor clams, you want a good spring tide, ideally. And now, a spring tide, it doesn't really have anything to do with spring, but rather the lunar cycle. And so when you have your full or your new moon, and it's in alignment with the sun and the earth, this is when you've got your strongest gravitational pull, ergo your spring tide. And conversely, when the sun, the moon and the earth are at right angles to each other, you've got opposing gravitational pulls and so you've got your smallest tides, your neap tides. I now have wellies full of water. Bring on the next couple of hours of trench foot. When you're looking for your hole in the sand or your little dimple, not all that glitters is gold. If you happen to find a little corkscrew of sedament, well, you don't know what kind of sediment it is, but walk away because that is not a razor clam, that's lugworm. And unless you want something smelly to try and catch some fish in the brown waters of South Wales, just keep looking. Now equally, if you see little marks like this, and you just get a tiny hole, it's just a little cockle. You find a little dimple like this. Add a bit of salt. And a marker. And then keep going. Or if you're like me and patience is not your strong point, then just get digging. But be warned, you're gonna rip up your fingernails and most likely you're gonna slice your fingers open on the razor clam shell. But hey, it's more fun that way. And when you're pulling it out, just go nice and gentle. Don't tug, just slowly ease it out or that foot is gonna rip off and that's the tasty bit.
if you do have the patience though, well, the razor clam, it doesn't want this salty lifestyle, and so it's going to go looking for a new home. At this point, it's all yours. That one's not coming out. For those without patience like me, just be warned, this is not a clean pastime. It's good fun though. So, a wet and miserable day, what better than hot smoked razor clams? There is a science to it, but on the beach, just fire, sawdust and a container. Whack a lid on, and you'd want to leave it for about, I don't know, 8-10 to 10 minutes. In an ideal world, you want your smoke to be thick and blue, but I'll take what I can get. Anyway, these are going home and we're going to prep something different. There's a reason this channel has been off air for a few weeks now, hence need to get home or what's left of it. See you in a minute. So that was a bit of an ordeal. It's now a week and a half, almost two weeks since I was at the beach and for good reason. I said we had a bit of a house to get home to. Well, we bought a new flat and I got home from the beach the day before moving day and the car broke down. So it's been a week and a half of moving by foot. Strong bad boy. <laughs> anyway, the fruit of my labour. Smoked razor clams. And I'm just going to do a simple udon noodle stir fry. Razor clams, string onion, green thing, green thing, red thing, red thing. And a shout out to Caden, Amor's little nephew. What's this? What is it? Well done, Caden. It is a shell. Happy birthday, shell! Now, razor clams, I have dispelled the myth. You can eat all of the pooey bits as well. Looks funny, probably sounds funny, but tastes absolutely fine. But you just want the siphon. That's the good bit. Like so. And you end up with very big udon noodles. I haven't tried it either. Should we smoke? Yeah. Nice though. Mm. Very nice.
there you have it. A very quick, very easy smoked razor clam udon stir fry. Smoked razor clam? Let's give it a go. Mmm. You don't smoke it for long, only kind of eight to ten minutes, and so not an overpowering flavour. You still get that really moist, chewy plumpness. And that's the way to describe it from the razor fan. And lots of spicy flavours. Time to burn your mouth, Hugh. That's really nice, and I, I kind of julienne sliced the razor clam so you get the flavour, but not much of texture. Just so it kind of complements the dish rather than forms the dish. Because noodles are the star of the show. Anyway, welcome back to our channel. It has been a while since we uploaded. And it may be a while until we upload again. Things are very chaotic, car-wise, housewife. Housewife, housewise, job-wise, but it's nice to be cooking and foraging again. Like, comment, subscribe, click the bell, ring the bell, play the bell, I don't know. Thank you for watching, good night. Say something for the birthday boy. Happy birthday, Kaden. Here's our TMR for you. Shell. <laughs> Wiggly worm. Mm. Do you have this kind of shell in New Zealand? If you have, can you show some to me? Bye bye, Kaden. Happy birthday.